हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सीएम आसेट एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल सो लेट्स सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन टू वॉच लेटेस्ट अपडेटेड वीडियो फर्स्टली वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू प्रिंट क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड लॉन्ग चुनर सेक्शन विथ टाइटल बॉक्स इन ऑटो कैड फॉर प्रिंटिंग अ क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड यल सेक्शन एट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू नो हाउ टू ड्रॉ क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड L section and for uh, and for knowing the procedure to draw cross section and longitudinal section of road and bridge, you need to watch my previous video of how to draw cross section of road and bridge and longitudinal section of road in the bridge. Then after watching my that uh, previous video of drawing, uh, then you can follow this video. Then for then for drawing the uh, sorry. For printing the cross section and the longitudinal section, you need to open the AutoCAD. Then after drawing, then after drawing the cross section and the longitudinal section with the help of SWDTM, will look like this in this manner. Then you have to arrange all the cross section in this way. You can adjust a four cross section in a single page. I am using a page size of page size of A2 and A3 for the cross section and the L section. For the cross section of road, I am using the scale as 1 is to 2000 and the scale in AutoCAD will be 1 is to 2 and the text side will be 4 using the using the previous formula that is uh, this formula. Then after that for the S section in the page size of A3 uh, I'm, uh, I am uh, adjusting the four cross section in a single page, and for adjusting a four cross four cross section in this way, you need to arrange all the cross section drawn from the SWDTM in this way, with a uh, in the, uh, this way. To arrange the cross section, you need to select the cross section this way. Then you have to right click on this then you have to select this option move button then you have to then uh, you have to specify the base point you can specify the base point uh, in this way then you can click here and similarly way you can select uh, another two cross section then uh, then again click right click on this then again select this option move move option then you have to choose the base point. After choosing the base point, you have to move the this figure in this way by arranging like this. In this way, you have to uh, arrange all the cross section after drawing the drainage or, uh, or after showing the cutting and filling and the road width. Then after uh, arranging all the cross section in this way, that is in the group of four, four, four. Then you can, then you can, then you can set up the page. Before set uping the page, you need to change the text height of all the cross section because the text height of this digit, this uh, written thing, will be according to the scale of <coughs> the page. And uh, in this video, I am going to print all that drawing in the scale of 1 to 2000 and for 1 to 2000 the text height must be 4 and for changing the text height you simply need to click in this way then you have to click right click on this and then you have to choose properties option and from that you can change the text height so in this way you can change the text height according to the scale used for drawing that drawing that figure and then after this, you simply need to change all the uh, text height of all the written thing of cross section figure, including all this data of existing level, distance meter, and this BC on this uh, this written thing, this numerical areal to the text height of four. You can simply use the mass properties to to change that. Uh, text height of all the object quickly 
for activating that command you need to type match then you can see this mesh properties then you can select the the source object in which you have previously changed the text height to 4 and you can match to all the object to change the text height in this way then you can simply change all the text height of all the cross section figure according to the scale of that <coughs> of paper then after changing the text height of all the cross section including the text height, the text height of this longitudinal profile that is this all the numerical value and this written value and uh, at the upper side of this value you need to set up the page that is uh, this layout option uh, for set upping this uh, layout option I have already taught in my previous video to to set up this page and to and to insert the title box then after inserting the title box uh, in this way in the a2 size paper for the chorus section and then after uh, inserting this title box and writing all the information in this way that is the college name group member name with the roll number then title then scale and in scale you can see the scale is written as uh, horizontal scale and the vertical is vertical scale but we are printing this drawing in the scale of 1 is to 2000 but the but the scale is written as the 1 is to 200 and the vertical scale is, is written as 1 is to 200 we need to know that the scale written here is uh, the scale written uh, at the starting point uh, when you draw the cross section with a with the help of SWTM you can see here uh, after opening SWDTM um, you can see then click on this option then, uh, then, then click on this option then select this uh, draw uh, cross section and you can see here the the horizontal scale and the vertical scale is written. This scale is written in the title box. You can see this scale, horizontal scale and the vertical scale is written in the title box. If you change the scale, we need to write this scale in the title box. And if you change this scale to 200 and the 200, then, uh, then you have to change the value uh, written in this title box as uh, in this video you can see the scale is written as the 1 to 200 and the vertical is the and the vertical scale of 1 to 200 it means it means at first before drawing the cross section i have changed the value to 200 to 200 in this horizontal scale and the vertical scale and the same scale is mentioned in this title box and the, in the same case uh, applies to the longitudinal section before drawing the longitudinal section at first you need to change this scale uh, if you are not changing the scale then you can write the scale as 1 to 1000 for the longitudinal scale or if you are changing that uh, scale to another value then then simply you have to write this scale in the title box of the longitudinal section and the cross section in this way you can write the value of uh, scale for the uh, horizontal and the vertical then after writing all this way uh, and set up in the page you can uh, you can adjust the cross section in this way and for the longitudinal section you can simply uh, adjust the uh, adjust the drawing in this way and you can write the scale this way as you can see in this drawing for the longitudinal section i have not changed the value of the horizontal scale and the vertical scale it means at the time of drawing the longitudinal section with the help of SWDTM at first, I have not I have not changed the value of uh, horizontal and the vertical scale and the and the same value is written here. But if uh, what if you change the value of horizontal and vertical scale at the time of drawing, then you then you need to write that scale in this scale. You don't need to write the scale of you don't you don't need to write this 
write this drawing scale uh, write this printing scale for the longitudinal section and the cross section that is 1 is to 2000 1 is to 2000 for the longitudinal section and the cross section you need to write the scale from the swdtm so friends in this way you can you can set up the title box and can print the uh, longitudinal section and the cross section of road and bridge in this way thank you